Today on the channel from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Last Ronin, we've got the Rogue Derelict. The spirit of the here and welcome back to the channel for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles unboxing and review and today we've got the Rogue Derelict from of course the Last Ronin but for all your Last Ronin needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code KYLE save yourself 10% on all in stock items $39 or over, guess what? It ships free. But you won't find this in Entertainment Earth uh, right now. I think in the future it will be there. I think we see that a lot with some of this kind of stuff. But at least as of right now, this is a Target exclusive part of their Holothon. And I'm still on the hunt for all those Holothon items. Slowly piecing them together. It's just the way it goes, I guess. Uh, but I did find this one. And this seems to be the maybe peg warmer of the bunch of Holothon items. I got to think, of course, of the last run and probably has the least amount of appeal to people. Of course, everybody loves their cartoon turtles. They love their movie turtles. This is a little bit newer land of the turtles with the last Ronin. I finally did get around to reading the story. I did enjoy it for what it was. Uh, and now we got a toy line to go along with this one. And this one snuck up on me. I didn't even know this was coming out or anything like that. Just kind of one of those holothon surprises. And we got a lot of reuse here. We got to admit, we'll dive into that. We'll do some comparisons. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's take a look at the packaging. Of course, very uniform, very last Ronin packaging, very much like a lot of other NECA figures as well with the packaging here. A nice red decor, a very red version of this figure as you're going to see in a bit, but a nice red coloring, red lettering throughout. Perfectly matches Target, that's for sure, but looking really good there on the front. You got him on the side right there. And then you got the typical uh, traditional last Ronin logo on the side here. And on the back there, we got the blurb, and we got some glamour shots as well. Got to have those, of course. And then we got the big uh, plastic window box with all the extra accessories, the figure as well. Nice little glamour shot right over here as well. And you can see a very red figure here, really fitting the mood. Fitting the mood and setting the mood is what we're doing with The Last Ronin. But let's read the back, see what's going on here. Who is The Last Ronin in a future battle-ravaged New York City? A lone surviving turtle embarks on a seemingly hopeless mission, seeking justice for the family he lost. From legendary TMT co-creators Eastman and Laird, get ready for the final story of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, three decades in the making. What terrible events destroyed his family and left New York a crumbling post-apocalyptic nightmare? All will be revealed in this climatic turtle tale that sees longtime friends becoming enemies, new allies emerging in the most unexpected places. Can the surviving turtle triumph? All good things must come to an end, and they're resetting the turtle franchise, I guess. In one way. Uh, we do know there's movie uh, turtle coming out. Cartoon movie figures coming. There's a lot of turtle stuff. Turtle anxiety is a real thing here in 2023. You can also pick up the t-shirt at ProSNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. But there's all the uh, outside stuff. I'm going to take this out like so. And we're going to check out the plastic prison. And then I'm going to take it offline and get this all twist ties and everything cut out. But tons and tons of accessories with this one. But there he is in the old plastic prison. Let me take it offline. Let me get him cut out. We'll be back talking all things last ronin all right let's break down the last ronin let's start off with the accessories as we always do and just like all the other ones we have tons of accessories here we'll t break down the figure once we get done with that but let's start with the old hands here of course the last ronin he came to fight he's got two fists of fury stock out of the package so we always like that then we got two gripping hands here, and we got two wide open hands. So as usual, choose your own hand adventure. I do like the red color here. I kind of want it in my mind. If I was playing as a kid, you know how I would do this one? This would be the last Ronin that was a battle damage, and this would be blood on him. That's what I would be telling myself. Oh, this is the one that's been fighting everybody. He's a bloody mess. He's wearing the crimson mask. That's what he is doing. And that's kind of what it looks like here. It looks like his hands are just caked in blood is how it looks. Choose your own adventure, though. You know how it goes. Now we're going to break down some of these extra accessories and a lot of stuff we saw obviously with the other ones but the weapons all once again are in that same red theme so uh, we're seeing a theme here that's for sure but we do get the uh, throwing stars get four different versions of these 
told all my stories uh, in other videos over the years about uh, throwing stars. They were called Chinese stars when I was a kid. That's what they were called. And we could go to the local gas station by my house and you could buy throwing stars there. Uh, a couple of my neighborhood kids had those. And uh, we were playing in the backyard with them, throwing them into trees and stuff. And he decided it was time to take out his brother. He chucked one of those, implanted right into his brother. It was awesome. Uh, then there was that South Park episode many years later and it kind of uh, brought back fond memories of that kind of time of my life as kids really were buying throwing stars at their local gas station. No problems, no questions asked, and we were throwing them at each other. So what a time to be alive that was, let me tell you about it. Uh, then we do get the big old katana blade, of course, Leonardo's uh, blade of choice. And you do get the uh, sheath for it as well, so you can keep it all covered up. But once again, all red across, nice sculpting on the bottom, nice sculpting on the top. But it is all that red with the black wash over it. Uh, we got to get used to it in this set for sure. Uh, we continue on with uh, this little uh, detonator, grenade, whatever you want to call it. I call it something that's going to be eaten by a lot of carpets across America is what's going to happen with this one. Uh, definitely, definitely small. going to have to put this in a lot of the stuff into a baggie, label it right after this review because uh, there's no way he's holding all these different weapons. You got to keep them secure, got to keep them together. That's how we do things. Then we got that big old baton here, like a young big boss man. Very interesting baton. Very cool. Once again, all red color. We're seeing a theme. We got the sigh. Got to have a sigh. Let off a sigh. <sighs> there it is, a sigh right there, but we do get one sigh with this one. Of course, you got to have the nunchucks of Michelangelo, of course. Love the real, I don't know if for real, but you know what I mean, real chain here instead of a plastic chain or whatever. Adds a lot to things like this, of course. Once again, all red. And we keep on going. We got Donatello's bow staff. Once again, all red. We're seeing a theme, as we've said. Good sculpt on these, but these are just simple, simple repaints. That's why I can see a lot of people pass it on this figure. There's just not enough meat on the bone unless you're a diehard or uh, you got some crazy issues with yourself, like I do, apparently. Who knows? Uh, and then you do get the goggles here. Very nice. You got red. You got the black kind of rubber band uh, strap on the back, which is really nice. But I do like that the goggles are clear. They are not the uh, red color throughout. So that is a nice change from everything else and it's all about dressing these things up i consider this one to be very similar to how i would treat a chase version it's basically a simple repaint make them as different as possible have the heads totally different have different weapons on them things like that that's how i'm going to go to market with this guy here now we continue on over to the figure and some of the heads we got going on here and i guess let's look at this stock head uh very interesting uh when i look at these last ronin turtle figures the heads on these they look like an older version of the turtles of course that's what they should be that's what they are uh but a little bit uh, chunkier in the head maybe just a lot older looking here and uh, we do got that he's got a bit of a frown i wouldn't even call this a stoic look it's just a sad i've seen some things look my whole family's died look that's what he's got going on here got the white slits for the eyes of course you got the bandana you got the red and black attack on all this figure as we've said numerous times in this video very nice on the back you do got a spot uh, for his bandana so you can put that in there if you want to go that route or he does come with the hood so you can put the hood over him as well that's what i did on my prior one we'll do some comparisons here in a little bit so you can choose your own adventure i think i'm going to leave the hood out of this one as i am using it on the other one and then you do get a second head here and i believe I could be wrong, but I think this is a brand new head sculpt. We got the loud, wide open mouth, the angry mouth opening. He's got the jagged teeth. He's got chipped teeth. I mean, this is a turtle that's been through the wars. He's been through the game. Uh, you got the bandana going hard off to the side. I think I'm probably going to use this one. It's very similar to the other one, but it is definitely different. So I do like this one. A lot of personality in this one where this one, uh, very just sad and disappointed. Somebody ran over my dog. Look to this one. But let's break down this figure here. Of course, the arms are going to go around, maybe, kind of. They are a little bit limited by the shoulder guards, those big shoulder coverings there. you got to move the arms out and around. I do got a hair bit of looseness in this elbow. I'm not going to lie right here. It is a little looser than I would uh, like it to be. So watch out for that. Your mileage may vary, as we always do say. But you do got the double-jointed elbows here. Hand's going to be removable, of course. You get the side-to-side, -side, back and forth. Got a nice forearm guard on the arm as well. Uh, you do get a waist articulation. Head removable, head side-to-side, -side, back and forth. So you do move that head uh, as much as you really need to there. Uh, the legs, he can do those big old turtle splits if he really, really has to. If he's got to get down low. You know, when you're older, it's tougher to do those splits. And then he's got the double-jointed knees. 
Yes, we got the double jointed knees, very tight though, which I like a tight joint. You guys know that. You just got to be careful you don't break the joints, especially on the first go around with some of these. Uh, but very interesting uh, in the knees there. Of course, you got those knee pads going on, the mixed match knee pads. Uh, you do get a little bit where that bend is. The plastic is a different color. It kind of takes you out of the game just a little bit there. So I don't know if I'll bend the knees too much on this one. You get the side to side, good ankle pivot, good side to side. Uh, good ankles on this one. Of course, he's got some very famous sandals going on. Looking nice. Got the two turtle toes. Got the three turtle fingers. Of course, he's got a big utility belt. You can put the sigh on the front if you need to. You can put stuff on the back. He can pretty much hold almost all of his weapons. You can't really hold the throwing stars, as we know. Uh, and then you got that real rope, that real thread back there, a little holster on the back to hold everything in. Uh, just very, very good looking here. Uh, not my favorite, of course. Out of the three or the two we've had all, uh, before in this one, so three total, this is going to be number three for me. There's just not a ton of meat on the bone here, especially at a $35 to $40 price point. Uh, it's just a little bit much. And I'm all for repaints. I understand the business of the repaints. And heck, like I said, it's for the Target Holothon. Makes a lot of sense to have this in Target colors. It's just one I think most people are going to be passing. And for the one Holothon end cap I've seen, there was one uh, Ray Filet, and then there was five of these, and that was basically it. So uh, I don't know if he's going to sell the best of the bunch, but it's good to have some variety out there. It is the spice of life, after all. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code KYLE. Make sure you get the Mattel stands, and what do you know? fits perfectly but let's do a little comparison here i got the regular version and this is kind of the granddaddy of the bunch i would have to say i think this is the one if you're just getting one last ronin figure this is the one to get uh, the unarmed edition is okay but the armed edition this one this really sums up everything and i can see a lot of collectors saying i just want this one i want one representation on my shelf I'm gonna call it good from there this would be the one i would recommend here but very similar but very different of course at the end of the day all lot of repaint here. It's just really the color differences. And you just got to choose your own adventure, which colors you like a little bit better. Is this the same head? I wanted to check that out too. This is different, I believe. I mean, the colors definitely change things up. Uh, but the mouth is where you can really tell the difference and the eyes aren't as far apart. So at least we get one new head here. There is a little bit of meat on the bone. Just a little bit of meat on the bone, but there is some meat. It's like that chicken wing. There's just a little left on there. Make sure you finish that chicken wing up. But I think I'm going to go with this uh, screaming mad head on this one. I think that's the way to go to market. And that's how I see it. But this is the last Ronin. What do you guys think about the Rogue Derelict Edition? All in, all out, long game, easy pass. I can see a lot of you guys saying easy pass, and it's totally understandable at this point. But it is cool to get a little variant every once in a while. You can at least look at it and pass on by if you need to do that. But let me know your thoughts on the last Ronin action figures. Are you all in or are you dabbling? Are you one of the ones that just got one? Feel free to comment on that as well. And of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell. As you guys know, we got videos every single day, including we'll get to all this Holothon stuff eventually here on the channel. So stay tuned for all those on top of everything else this channel offers. And you can get even more content, including early access to videos like this over on the Patreon channel, your best way to support the channel, plus tons of bonus content over there as well. And you can also get a Pro Wrestling Tees t-shirt, get your old Turtle Anxiety shirt over at Pro Wrestling Tees, search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget to hit me up and follow along on social media, Sir Paul 64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the last Ronin, I'm the last Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon. Last Ronin. Derelict. Rogue derelict. 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 That's a hard word for me. <clears throat>